get better at every spot and uh, every position group. And the uh, offensive line is, is one of those that we hope to get better every week, just like every other spot. Taysom uh, really seemed to play well, took some steps forward. Is that how you would assess his, his performance? Well, you guys don't mind stand about that. Your quarterback does well when uh, the 10 guys around him are moving at a really high level. And he's spotty when it's not there. Um, I'm 100% confident in our quarterback and, and his abilities uh, to uh, run and be productive in the scheme, whether we're running the ball or throwing it. Uh, and and uh, my intent is to get, the, like I said, the 10 guys uh, on the field around him executing at a higher level. And, and I think we're starting to see signs of that. Uh, I do believe we took a step forward in the Utah State game. Uh, but uh, uh, looking forward to uh, a better form every week. Uh, and, and, and as I see it, we, we have taken uh, steps as a group, some smaller than others, but uh, every week we have gotten better. Would that include the wide receivers? Last week they kind of seemed to come on a lot better. Marcus Matthews did a pretty good job. Talk about the assessment there of the wide receivers. Yes, the uh, uh, wide receivers a little sharper, uh, making plays. Uh, making good blocks downfield and executing uh, assignments. And, and uh, I'm really uh, pleased to see that the effort level uh, there is, is, is at a more consistent Yeah, it's going to be nice to have, have two guys, a threat that maybe two guys got to look out for, Cody Hoffman and Mark, you know, Mitch Matthews on the outside. It's got to be a nice little uh, nice look. We have a, a, a group. They like to call themselves posses, I guess. It <laughs> carries in every program. Yeah. We have a group of four that are, are starters, and they rotate. And we do that so that they can play fast and play at a high level. And uh, we are taking a step forward there. Health-wise, how's the offensive line? I know some guys played a little bit. Some guys were held out. Will this be the first week where you should have the pretty much the full contingent of, of guys? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, hmm. I just got... Uh, uh, some word that Terrence Aletto may not uh, be able to go next week. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, the doctors weren't definitive, but, uh, you know, we just have to wait and see. So I'm hoping that he can uh, rejoin us as soon as possible. What's his ailment? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I just noticed he wasn't there today, and uh, he was working with the trainer. So uh, I, I'm, maybe he'll be back. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I'm hopeful that mm -hmm. uh, we'll have uh, the same uh, group going again. But, uh, you know, this year's just been one of those years where we've had to adjust on a run. Mitch was saying yesterday he liked the idea of playing a man-to-man -man defense like Utah State wants to play. What are the challenges with Georgia Tech and then playing more zone as far as getting the receivers the same program? Uh, you know, we uh, prepared for a lot of man-to-man. -man and... Uh, we got some with Utah State. We didn't get a, a from start to finish. So, shoot, I would like to see more man-to-man -man because that's really what we've pre been preparing for. Uh, so we do have to shift gears because uh, there's more zone coverage. Still a little bit of man with Georgia Tech, but uh, uh, more zone coverages uh, as we study film and look at tendencies. Is that a harder feel a harder relationship between a quarterback and and his receivers in his, playing his own defense then? Well, I think both uh, schemes have their challenges. Uh, and, and the zone challenge is, uh, you know, you've got to find open windows, and, and those windows don't stay open long. And so the execution has to be sharp. Uh, protection has to be crisp. So the quarterback is not... Uh, you know, rattling around in the pocket. And then uh, there's very little margin of error uh, in, in a good zone defense. And so I, I do believe that uh, you've got to be sharp. You've got to recognize coverage. You've got to be able to protect. And then the quarterback's got to be accurate. 